Hello everyone, it's Olivergoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Free Doom. So, last we left off, we had ourselves a nice, triumphant victory here, with our full 100% completion of our last level, the tertiary loading bay. So, let's move on to our next level here, the Red Works. So, here we go, let's see what they got here for us this time. And one thing that I recognize immediately is, uh, is the another old, yet again, Free Doom level design here. But this level seem to corresponding to um, Doom 2's Hell on Earth's Map 25, Blood Pulse. But it's apparent with the group of the uh, good old friend, the Blood of the Innocents, making his return again. Yes. Yeah, good to see you, Blood of the Innocents. Yeah, very good. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing a lot more blood in this level. And uh, as well as, yeah. So and one thing I've noticed as well is the monster difference here. These two imps here that were along with these shotgunners were actually used to be barons of hell from what I remember that they would send against you in this room right away of the shotgunners. But looks, thankfully it looks like they decided to tone down the difficulty a little bit and only send those two imps instead. So looks like we've got our exit here already. But, uh, Obviously, we can't get to it just yet because, yeah, a lot of obstacles in our way. And yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. I remember this room with the old textures and stuff, with the old lava and everything. So, everything, a lot of stuff certainly has changed. But yeah, let's, let's not dwell on that, shall we? And let's just go through the other doors. Including this one, which appears to be our, our door that's going to allow us to get to our exit here. As we see three of the key door switches here. Yeah. All requiring a skull key by the looks of things. So, I guess we have no choice but to go through one of these two doors here. This, this door, we're gonna go through this door first, actually, because, yeah. And the reason for it is uh, not only uh, dealing with some more monsters right away, but uh, we, well, since we're done dealing with you, yeah, we're, as soon as uh, we're gonna run into this area here, which is actually secret, that has mega armor for us. It's yes. mega armor that was very useful to get sure to help us out. So we got ourselves another group of uh, uh, blood here, but be sure to go out of it right away, because yeah, I remember the trap. I remember there being a trap, you guys know what I mean, so nice. So be sure to kill you guys right away. Yeah, make sure, uh, make sure to make work with you with our super shotgun and our close range combat. Very good. And yeah, listen to this uh, nice music here. Which uh, actually is, uh, I don't recognize here. Yeah, I uh, you know, only remember there being different music that they would play in this level here. Much different, actually. So, yeah, and, um, it's definitely a different new song that they're playing. A uh, cool new song. I say, it does sound pretty nice. If y'all can't really hear it well in my commentary, but that's okay. It's, it's a nice sounding song. A little bit mellow, but uh, also pretty uh, badass sounding. Yeah. It has to, probably has to be, right? This is one of the last levels after all. So, yeah. But we go in here, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw there, but there's a uh, yellow skull key, but it's on that uh, pedestal over there. And uh, to lower it down, we have to go into this uh, set of rooms here. Now, this is pretty cool, guys, with these set of rooms here, because uh, uh, what they did was you go into each one of these rooms, and they each have like a symbol on the floor, if you haven't noticed that as well. And every time you walk in the room, Lowers down another doorway to another room of sorts until it uh, leads to a switch as well as a Hell Knight. Be sure to eliminate this Hell Knight right away and get to the switch. If we get to the switch, it will should lower down that uh, pedestal for us to get to that yellow skull key. Yeah, and it did. So we can grab that and watch out because, yeah, it's gonna unleash some uh, cacky ones for us to get. Be sure to deal with them right away. And make sure that our uh, projectile dodging game is on the point. So make sure we dodge all those projectiles. Very nice. Or as many as we can, anyways. But yeah, now we go in here and. Oh, hello! And uh, say hello to some more of you guys who are hiding around these corners, I see. Yeah, not very nice. That's okay. We can just uh, use with the help of our, our good old friend, the Blood of the Innocents, will help guide our way through. See us through. Well, that is hope. So, yeah. Now we move on to this area over here, which has the Red Skull Key. It's pretty good. But, uh, as you imagine, we can't get to it quite yet. It's on yet another pedestal. So, we 
go down here and watch out because, yeah, it's going to lower down on you, Mr. Hellburn, sir. Thinking you're so clever and sneaky trying to... Think you can get a sneaky back hit on me while I'm just focusing on trying to kill the shotgunners there. And I'm smarter than that. But nice try. Nice try. But I am smarter than that. Yes. I am smart. It's going to get me with your simple tricks. Alright. Let's have another nice cool little secret room with the blood of the innocents there. So we go out here and we have another cool looking, nice looking outdoor area. Another blood mountain and some black evil goblins to take out. Yeah, make sure to kill you guys right away. Very good. And now we take care of the hell, hell Baron. Yes. Yeah, down goes Mr. Hell Baron. Any second now. There we go. Yeah, nice looking sky as well to go with this uh, outdoor area. And some atmosphere. Especially with some blood of the innocents that hurts you as well. Very nice. I always, you know, I always appreciate me some pools of blood of the innocents that hurts me. You know, so it's something I always do like. I must commend my map makers for making me blood of the, blood of the innocents that hurts me. It's very good. Oh yeah, but yeah, look at what we got here though. He uh, seems to have ourselves another cool looking room with this blood fall effect going on here. Pretty cool looking. Actually, so uh, cool, nice looking that I can't even walk through it. Yeah, it appears that the blood has gone so thick and condensed now that and, and purified that it is now the refined blood of the innocents. Yes, the refined blood of the innocents. Only the, the top, most primo, most purified blood with the most oxygen and in it. And yeah, where they all the most bloodthirsty monsters uh, can die. Yes. There's uh, any monster who sucks on the blood of the innocents can tell you that there's nothing quite like the refined blood of the innocents. Yep, no sir, you can't get any other kind of blood of the innocents that's quite like it. And yep, that's right, folks. We've gone so deep with our blood of the innocents lore that we've now gone into the purified blood of the innocents. Yes, that's right, it's the purified blood of the innocents, baby. <laughs> So yeah, let's go up into this area here, and uh, yeah, right over this big room up here. So we're going to switch up to our plasma rifle, melt all these guys' faces off here. And yeah, but, but cool looking uh, light effect going on there too, I like that, I do like that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But uh, let's see here, that's uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's funny how this thing raised up and we can still go down, but uh, yeah. We need to go through here, over this elevator. It's gonna have some more Kimmy Schmicks. Or Snakey Schmicks over here. And uh, with this uh, little box on this lip here. Whoa! See, it looks like Mr. Arachnotron friend as well. Yes. We're gonna go in here, and uh, yeah, there's this little one, which I also remember. And uh, we're gonna make sure we secure this area as well. Because. I don't know if you guys noticed because there's actually a river that carves through the, the actually pretty cool river design in this map that carves through these rooms here and goes through to this room as well. And there's actually something about this room or this river in the older versions of Redo that the water level was much higher. And uh, it was weird too because you would actually be able to jump in the water and be underwater in this high level of water in the river here. Which is really weird because, it's, it's, uh, especially since uh, it didn't act like normal water, like you couldn't swim in it, or there was no voice changing, reverb, nothing. Uh, it was just basically nothing. You're just underneath a, a fake uh, surface of water in this like fake phony baloney water, and yeah. So that is uh, actually something that was throughout a couple of the old other free doom maps and just, uh, some of the other old free doom versions as well as they would have these random pools of this fake phony baloney liquid and it wasn't always water it would be like blood and and uh, it'd be like yeah blood and uh, lava and acid even. so we got to go in here and we got to hit that switch now but also watch out because yeah you guys saw there's these hell baron and as well as a chain gunner teleporting you just want to come and ruin your day yes well, not this time, motherfuckers. 
So we clear them out and we activate that switch because, uh, yeah, we go into uh, down here and, uh, yeah, we should go here and then, oh yeah, it lowers that down too, which is pretty cool. Down there, that's why it has that metal pillar there. Pretty neat, because we go over here and that is this gate that's locked, but we're going to make sure we kill this shotgunner behind it, of course. And go into this uh, doorway here, that's not obviously a secret doorway here, it's with this uh, blood effect. But I must say, this I do really admire this blood effect that's going on here, with this uh, blood fountain coming out of this uh, mouth of the demon uh, face here on the wall. Pretty nice, and it's adding an, even a little pool of the blood of the innocents. Yes, the refined blood of the innocents, that, yes. Well, these monsters are getting so desperate now for the refined blood of the innocents that they want to resort to synthesizing more and making it in this factory of theirs. The Red Works, yes. How dare they? Yes, the fiends. Uh, don't worry, I'll be sure to put a stop to their madness. Their madness of manufacturing refined blood of the innocents from regular blood of the innocents. Yeah, yeah it's no good. Put a stop to their madness. Yes. Alright, so kill you guys, and yep, I remember you guys as well, popping out of your little hidey holes there. Yeah, trying to be all sneaky again, I see. Be sure to stay on top of that with our super shotgun. Ah, damn, yeah. Well, he got a cheap on, on me anyways, so what are you gonna do? Alright, well, that's them killed off anyways, and uh, at least, and we go, and there should be... Yeah, switch here. And these ones will lower down that uh, red key switch there, as you see on the pedestal, so we can finally go into the limit. But, as you can see, not without stirring up some more riffraff, so let's go ahead and go teleport our way back, which will take us to this room over here. Yes, and uh, as you guys will probably recognize from earlier, this is the same room before, but it had water, that they didn't uh, turn and transform into the refined blood of the innocents than it is now. Yes. They're, they're even turning water into refined blood of the innocents. Like I said, they're doing everything that they can to keep on top of this uh, new refined blood of the innocents demand that's going on with the, within the monster underworlds. I just imagine that the monsters are going around just ordering the the blood of the innocent the refined blood of the innocents off the you know the top free will quality blood on their, their underworld websites paying all this exorbitant amount of underworld currency if they even use any of this thing like that to get their fix because you know regular blood of the innocents just isn't good enough. I don't know. It's, it's, I'd imagine it'd be a pretty lucrative trade market there with the refined new refined blood of the innocents going on in the underworlds. But oh, oh geez. What do we have here? As soon as I picked up that red skull key. We uh, attracted ourselves the attention of uh, another arch file here, another fiend to kill. Yes, be sure to kill him. And yeah, I didn't think I finished off that revenant there. Well, now he is dead, as long with his stupid, his stupid ass and his stupid ass projectile. Yeah. So now that those guys are finally done with it, they go in here and clear out these uh, monsters here. And yeah, it's a bit weird how the with these uh, random ass uh, zombie men dudes right just guarding these uh, key doors like this. And this is how it was in the older versions too. They'd have the old the zombie men in here. But uh, they did change, I did notice a couple changes in details. One of them being that they look like these coffins that they're on here, as well as some hippie schmips teleporting in. Yeah, it's not very nice, but uh, it's like we're pretty much done with this level here, as we've got just our. Our end door to go through. Yes, our end door, wherever it is. We'll be able to exit this madness once and for all. Alright, yep, yeah, we just got to. Uh, and our last monster being an archfile. Yes. Do the thunk. Do the thunk could be one of you. Alright, so that's this level done. Yes, finally. The, that's the Red Works done. The Blood Falls equivalent of. Or Doom 2 is Hell on Earth map done, and uh, yeah, with that being done, let's move on to level 6, the Dark Depths. 
Now also going by this logic here of corresponding to regular Doom 2 maps, this should, one should correspond to the, uh, actually the Monster Condo, or is it the Kazam? One or the other. No, it gotta be the Kazam. No, it's the Abandoned Mines, the Abandoned Mines, now I remember. Yeah, that one for sure. And yeah, so far it does look a little bit like it. As for that level was a little bit uh, constrained and claustrophobic, where it had you on those hallways with the monsters shooting at you from multiple outside angles. Yes, the joys of that level. Very good. Yeah, but very interesting level design too. A new level design too that I also will add here, as this is, uh, yeah, one that I have not played before. This should be pretty interesting. And oh god, that is a crusher. Damn, that is a hidden crusher. I didn't even know there are hiding crushers in here, but uh, looks like they're crushing the enemies too, thankfully. So at least there's that. Yeah, let's see what they got here in this interesting level here. Well, so far, not much. Looks like we have no choice but to go into this crusher here. And uh, with the help of our crusher, it uh, definitely should help us out kill these monsters at least. Yeah, blowing off that cacker demon. Also, this is new music that I do not recognize either. It's good to, it's so good to hear, still hear me hearing some new music. Even in the older level designs, they still had some new music playing. Oh dear. Looks like we got some invisible monsters hiding in the dark here. I mean, I guess that's what this level was called after all, Dark Depths. And, uh, damn, even, oh my god, even with the, the brightness turned up a bit, I still can't hardly see anything. Well, looks like, yeah, it's time to call for the help of the, uh, plasma rifle, because, yo, oh wow, that makes it so much easier to this. Because I have no choice but to use this weapon this hallway, which is a good thing, too, since I have a lot of ammo. Let's make sure to use, uh, this here. Are you sneaking up on? Nope. Okay, good. Just put this one. Alright. Always got to be sure to make sure, right? Right. No harm in being uh, too safe. Alright, so I'm hearing monsters teleport in, and yep, yeah, it's one of you guys. Alright. Go to one of you guys. Yeah. How are you guys doing? It's dead, I see. Yeah, very good. Alright, well, let's just make our way back. Use the the light of our plasma projectiles to help light our way. We better find our way soon because I don't have infinite ammo for this. I will run out of ammo if I keep having to do this. But it looks like we're good now. Looks like we made our way back. Uh, does the crusher make its way over there? I'm not sure. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, we're good. We can run across. Just hope that there are no monsters around these tight ass corners. Because, yeah, this that would be pretty unfortunate. But it doesn't look like it, no? It looks like we just have to move on to our next outdoor area out here. It's some nice bright areas, yes. Glorious brightness. Good to see you again. Yes, brightness, my dark friend. Yeah, the opposite of darkness. Yeah, everybody always with all this hype about uh, darkness being their friend and missing them again. No, it's brightness this time. It's Alright, well, I was genuinely worried about for a second about a second there about that being a deadly trap and an inescapable lava pit, but nope, we gotta teleport it back up. The game was kind enough and mercy and merciful enough to us. So we will take those small mercies where we may. Anyways, we've got our next challenge up here with this clearing out some more baddies here. Some more dark goblins. Black goblins, dark goblins, maybe that's what they are called, they're called dark goblins. So you know, it would make sense. It's really not off from me calling my... me been calling them black goblins lately. It's dark, it's... Nothing wrong with being dark, nothing wrong with being black. Yes. Alright, so I'm running low on ammo for that. Low ammo, and yeah, I want to kill this Arachnachon. Be sure to knock him down for sure. Line him up and knock him down. Yeah, that's right. Alright, how many monsters do we have left actually? We have a little over half. A little over half. Well, let's go kill some more, starting with uh, this other black goblin here. Dark goblin. Does this blood hurt me? It does not. Alrighty. Okay, well, I guess we can just wait for you guys to come on up here then. 
and see if you can find some health. Because, yeah, I could really use some health. Because I really could. So come on, where's, where's all the health at? Yes, yeah, so finding a lot of ammo, which is good. It's got some health. Kinda need the health. I'm up here now. Oh, oh, right, right, right. There's one of you guys. Alright, all right. well, that's that threat eliminated. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else. I think that's just my way my way back, but... We're gonna go and kill this, uh, or this Kaku Demon, just in case, wherever he is. Wait for him to make up here. Or not, maybe I do have to go through this area. I guess we're about to find out. Let's switch to our chain gun for this. Because I really don't, don't, I really don't like firing rockets right over an edge like this. Just blowing myself up. Let's see, I need to kill that shotgun. You need to go. As well as you, Captain Demon. Yes. Well, time is tough. So, so time to accept your fate already. There's an Arachnotron. Oh, no, 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 that's an empty ship. I see you right over there. Right over that corner. Yep. Alright, it's the Infi Shrimp's dead. Oh, 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 okay, no, we make our tactical retreat now. Let's use our plasma gun again. It's lost souls. Plasma gun is pretty good against lost souls. And, uh, oh, the uh, Kane Elemental has actually uh, got hit and aggroed by the chain gunners there. That's why he was heading towards that way. That explains it. Uh, but we need to take out these chain gunners for sure. They need to go. Just be careful around there. Aiming around the corner. Well, that's all of our shotgun ammo done. Now let's see here. So we really need to find some health. Where is all the health at? Well, that's armor. Armor is not health. Come on, game. Where's the health? Where's the health? Let's see. There's corners here. Oh, there's health. How do I get to that? This is the question. Yes. I guess it's no longer a matter of where the health is at. I guess it's just a matter of how to get to set health. And no, I guess I just activate that and then lowers down. Cool. Alrighty. Very well. And uh, it doesn't seem to have at least one of monsters as well. Man, just two worms and that's it. Alright. Very good. I will gladly take that. I will gladly take it with a grain of salt. Alright. Now we move on. And that is an arch vial in there, so it's uh it's uh yeah we're gonna go at this in at a, at a distance and shoot him out with our blow him up with our rocket barrage here give him the old rocket long chance you know yes. all right so down he goes as well kill you and let's see uh so it's their yellow skull key and uh oh, another dark hallway ah crap and i'm out of uh plasma bullets or plasma now well, I guess I have to use the good old regular bullets to help light my way through. Yes, help light my way and see my way through. And of course, that's all probably going to end now because I'm running out of... Oh, no, I picked up more ammo just as I ran out. Nice. Yeah, nice. Well, I guess we can keep going then. So what else we can find? Okay, okay yeah. Alright, yeah, I know I've wasted my ammo, but... It's, I uh, kind of have no choice. I can literally cannot see anything in these dark ass hallways. So, yeah. Alright, so who's out here? Is it him and a Arachnachon, right? Two Arachnachons. I saw two of them. Yeah, there's one shooting behind it, the shadow of another. We gotta kill them then. Make sure we kill, take, them, take them out. Take out those Arachnachons. Did we get them? Oh, I saw I got at least one of them. I think I got both of them. I just gotta kill this imp wherever he is, still hiding in the shadows there. I think we got him too. Oh, no, we didn't. Now we did. Oh, crap. We're gonna be you sneaky, sneaky devils in there. But look, it's the yellow skull king. Finally. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of you guys in there. That explains your sneakiness. Let's just back away from that. Very good. Alright, should be the revenant down now. Just deal with these. Uh, shoot again, just for, just for good measure. All right, man. it's just these two guys, and they're 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 down for the count as well. All right, what do we got here? Oh, more cell ammunition. I'm definitely gonna need that. 
As a matter of fact, let me use that right now. As, uh, let's see, we got ourselves the yellow skull key, finally. This just lowers down, okay. Well, I guess we just make our way back to that yellow skull key door over here. Yes, the yellow skull key door. Yellow skull key door. Yes, I'd imagine the monsters are not too pleased with me now that I cleared out their factory of the heat that refines the, their refined blood of the innocents. Yes, not very good. So we do have to be careful. They're extra angry at me. You know? Not appreciating me so putting a stop to their efforts of drinking the most refined blood you can find on Amazon. Their monster Am hell Amazon. Hellazon. Alright, I'll just I'll just stop. I need to focus on bunch of monsters to kill and haha -ha, you guys are stuck on that uh, that little crack there on the floor haha uh, it sucks to be you I'm just gonna blow you up man. yeah I do like it when monsters get stuck on little cracks like that it's pretty funny it does definitely help us out too because yeah and there's their progress and yeah it's easier for us to take them out all right but yeah, also must say I do like these crack designs in the, in the ground here. It looks pretty cool, pretty dope looking. If I do say so myself. All right, but yeah, it's a very wide open area here. You may get the feeling that we might have to fight something powerful here. Just maybe. I guess we're about to find out as soon as we uh, get that switch up there. What lifts things? Yeah, yeah. We just gotta make our way around here on the stairs. All right, what do you got for me? You got for me. Just watch it be like five cyber demons. Two spider masterminds or something. No, it is the exit. Alright, the game is actually being kind of close. And with that being done, I think we're going to have to end it here, folks. So, before we do that, let's just go ahead and save. Save our progress. Yeah, save. And the save on our LP map. Because, yeah. It's a very fine episode, a uh, very fine performance this episode, too, I say so myself. So, let's end it off here. I'll show you guys some juicy end steps this level. Ah, oh, I almost got all the kills, but oh well. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for today, folks. So, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like the video, see all the other ones that I have loaded up. Drop like, comment, and subscribe, as I have loaded videos almost every day. So, be sure to hit that bell for those future notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time. We did some more free do. Yes, the last few free do levels. And a few more to go. Just a few more. As a matter of fact, probably next episode will probably be the grand finale. So yeah, we'll be looking forward to doing that. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you or the semi-finale, sorry. <laughs> so we'll be looking forward to that. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you guys there, cheering me on. So in the meantime though, this is Endemic Wayne 77 finally signing off. And as always, take care everyone.